If you want to learn how to use email marketing for affiliate marketing, you're in the right place. My name is Garrett Berry. I've been online the last five years full time, and I've been using email marketing every single day in my business to generate affiliate commissions. And as you follow this entire video, you're going to learn exactly how to use email marketing, how to send the right types of emails. There's actually specific types of emails I'm going to break down for you, how to craft good subject lines for your emails that get people opening and much more. Now you can see on the screen right here that total, okay, this is my list size in this one email autoresponder account, okay, and I have 35,274 leads or emails that I've actually generated, okay? So you're learning from someone in this video that's actually getting real results with email marketing and affiliate marketing. Now, the very first step is you need to use an email autoresponder service, okay, if you wanna start sending emails. Now, if you don't have one already, there's many different options out there. There's Aweber, there's GetResponse, there's SendLane, okay, these are many different options. I personally am using GetResponse, okay, you can see it right here. Now, include a link to actually um, access an account. Um, I believe it's 30 days free trial um, right now. And I like GetResponse, especially if you're in the Make Money Online niche because they're very lax. Um, you can send offers to Make Money Online and they seem to be okay with it. You know, they don't, they don't come down hard on you. So this is a good option. Now, you also want to have a capture page, okay? Now, a capture page is basically something that looks like this, okay? It collects someone's email address, okay? Because when we wanna do email marketing, we have to obviously collect someone's email, and we do that by sending the traffic or the people to a capture page to collect their email. Now, if you don't have a capture page, you can actually use different places. Um, I recommend ClickFunnels. Okay, you can start a free 14 day trial. And again, I'll include a link directly below in the description if you wanna try this out. I highly recommend ClickFunnels because once you're inside, you can just build a funnel very easily and you can start to create a capture page and then you can hook up GetResponse or whatever email autoresponder to your um, software, your, your funnel creation software. So when someone puts their email in, it gets passed over to GetResponse or Aweber or you know whatever you're using, and now you've collected that lead and you can follow up through emails. Okay, so I'm inside of my GetResponse. I'm going to use this for you know the demonstration purposes. Now the very first step is we want to create a list. Okay, now a list is basically a specific category of leads that we're going to be building. Okay, now I have different list names. Okay, based on the offers that I'm actually promoting and sometimes based on the lead source. So this was um, YouTube ads. I had started, I thought I was gonna do this more, but I, I didn't focus on that. Versage, okay, which is a um, Ethereum, okay, crypto opportunity, and I started to build a list there. So you wanna keep it very categorized, okay? So easy one up, you can see right there, etc. So you wanna create that list, and once you create a list, you wanna hook up Okay, the information. So you can go to create, create form, and usually this works very similar with you know other uh, email autoresponder services. You can go to plain HTML, and you can actually choose the list. Okay, that you want to the lead to be added to. Okay, so let's say Forsage, for example. You can choose what day you want them to receive emails. Okay, and you can do you know custom thank you page. So when they put their email in on this page. Where do you want them to get sent to? Okay, so with GetResponse, um, you can put in whatever you want there. You don't really need to do any of this other stuff. And then you just copy code, and then you would put it into like ClickFunnels, for example. When you're building that funnel, they have a place to integrate your form on your capture page to your email autoresponder. Now, if this seems complicated, it's really simple, and I highly recommend you just look up you know, on YouTube other tutorials on how to hook up click funnels to whatever email autoresponder you're using. But that's basically it as far as setting things up. Now, once you set things up, you can either send out a broadcast email, okay, which is one email that you send out that day and it goes out to everyone, or you could use an autoresponder email. Now, an autoresponder email is basically an email that will go out on certain days, okay? So you can see right here, you know, from right now in this one, 
list, I have, you know, 14 days worth of email. So once someone puts their email in on day, you know, zero, day one, they're going to get these emails and then these emails. So it just, it's going to keep drip feeding on this person. Okay. So I like autoresponders at least for the first seven days, because then if you're not, you know, sending emails to people, they're still getting followed up with. So that's what you under, understand. And then after the seven days or the 14 days, what I do is I transition them onto a broadcast list. So now I can send out a newsletter, okay, or a broadcast email to all those people that are now on my list, okay, and they're not receiving autoresponders messages. So now what we wanna do is we wanna learn what type of subject line should we write here? Because when you create an email with email marketing and affiliate marketing, we want to first come up with a subject line that's going to get someone to open it, right? When we send out this email, it's gonna go into their email inbox, whether through Gmail or Yahoo, and they have a lot of emails typically, and you wanna stand out. So I actually have um, some guidelines here, okay, on writing subject lines. Now there's four, there's many types, but there's four main ones that I typically use the most. And I wanna break these down for you so you have an idea on exactly what type of subject lines you should be sending. Number one is shocking. Okay, now the idea behind this type of email subject line is to shock your subscriber into opening. Okay, so again, like there's a lot of clutter in their email. We wanna do something or write something that's you know gonna catch their attention, that's kind of shocking. So for example, you know, you could say, um, he looks like a little ugly monkey boy, <laughs> okay? So that's, chances are that's probably gonna, you know, shock some people, right? When they see that, they're like, what the heck? I need to find out more information, right? And they'll open it. Now, obviously we wanna make, you know, this relevant. Now you may think, how is, you know, a little ugly monkey boy, how is that relevant to, let's say, if your niche online is making money online? Well, you could tie this into a story. You know, you could say something in the email, which I'll cover in a second, what to actually do in the email body. But you could say something like, you know, you could tell a story and then you could say, you know, and then the person said to me, he looks like an ugly monkey boy, right? So now you're tying that subject line into the email, but you're using that subject line to catch someone's attention. Number two is why XYZ is wrong. Okay, so this type of subject line is very powerful. The idea here is to take a well-known idea and make a case against why it's actually wrong. So, you know, you could say something like if you're in the, again, the make money online, the internet marketing niche, if that's your type of business, you could say why marketing on Facebook is wrong or why marketing on Facebook is a terrible idea. Okay, a lot of people think they should market on Facebook. If you take what people think and you say it's wrong, that's gonna capture their attention and that's gonna get people to open. Number three, direct hit. Okay, this type of email is all about stating the direct benefit of whatever, of whatever you're offering. So whatever you're offering in that email, if you're promoting an affiliate offer or um, you know, you're sending them to a sales page, you can just be direct. Okay, So for example, let's say you're promoting an affiliate offer that teaches people how to get $200 in Google Ads for free. You could say, you know, as the subject line, how to get $200 in Google Ads and start making money today. Okay, that could be the subject line. And number four, numbered lists. This is pretty self-explanatory. People love lists. Okay, so if you say, you know, three big reasons you're still broke or three ways to make $200 today, right? Five simple tips to lose weight fast, right? These types of uh, subject lines are gonna get people to open. So let's say, you know, we wanna use this one, for example. Okay, so you just copy this You'd go into here, you'd paste that as the subject, okay? And then you would just go to next, right? You can choose a template. Okay, now I have some templates here. Or you can just go to uh, a blank template here. And we wanna start typing the body of the email. This is when they open the email, what are they gonna see, okay? Now, if I go back to my document, here's the type of emails you can send, okay? These are the top proven um, not just for myself, but from other top marketers online. This is what we all basically say. These are the types you want to focus on. Okay, so first off, story of what happened today. So, you know, if you're writing an email, okay, you can write a, a little story about what happened to you today. Okay, so for example, let's say you're promoting an affiliate offer that 
has to do with losing weight, um, losing weight from home. Okay. So you can tell a little story about how you worked out today from home, right? So you can say, Hey, you know, Hey there, my friend earlier today, and I'll, I'll save you the time from typing, but you could say something like, you know, earlier today I was, you know, sitting at home and I really wanted to work out, you know, but I didn't want to go all the way to the gym. I didn't want to, you know, spend time in traffic, et cetera. So what I decided to do was just pop on my online, um, you know, weight loss video and follow the simple steps. And in less than 30 minutes, I had an incredible workout, right? So if your product that you're promoting was something that helps you lose weight in 30 minutes online, then you could tie in a story to that. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Really simple. You just tell a little story about yourself and then tie it into the offer. A story-based edutainment, okay? This is a little bit similar. Um, basically, rather than, you know, facts tell, stories sell, right? So you want to entertain people in these emails. You don't want to just like, you know, list a lot of facts. You want to actually make it entertaining so people want to read it. So you could tell an entertaining story. Again, always tying it into your affiliate offer. So it depends on your affiliate offer. But let's say, you know, my affiliate offer is teaching people how to make autopilot commissions. And in fact, that is what I'm actually promoting right now. And it's truly powerful and incredible. But I could tell an entertaining story about, you know, Jan, right? Maybe Jan was a stay at home mom. And, you know, she struggled to make income. And then she came across this system. And while she was at the pool relaxing with her family, she was able to make a $1,000 commission. Okay, so that story is somewhat entertaining, and you can spice it up. But that's going to get people reading it and wanting to check out your affiliate offer controversial okay people love controversy people love drama so if you do an email that has to do with controversy maybe the latest controversy in the news okay you can tie it into what's relevant now that's going to get people to want to read that email you know for example let's say um you know when covid okay first came out a lot of people were writing emails on you know playing off the fear right like oh um you know are you going to be able to make more income you know, are you going to lose your job? You know, this is something scary, you know, this COVID thing. If you want a way to actually make money from home, then, you know, check out this offer, right? So you can play on the controversy if, you know, the president or something in the news is happening, you can do that. Enlightening, thought-provoking, okay? This is something that gets people to think. So you can write an email, okay, right here, that gets people to think, you know, like, you can take something that they normally think and change it, okay? So I don't use that one as much, but um, that's you know another type you can do. I wanna focus more on the ones that I personally use, but these are just the options. You can challenge existing dogma and beliefs. So again, this kind of goes back to the why XYZ is wrong. So if you use this subject line, this would be a good body email, okay? So you could continue on, you know, a lot of people think Facebook marketing is good, but actually it's, you know, not effective, it's slow. Instead, you want to think about using TikTok, right? If TikTok was an offer that you're promoting, right? So for example, let's say you found an offer that's teaching people how to do TikTok marketing. You could start the subject line, why Facebook marketing is wrong. And then inside the body say, look, you know, Facebook, it's outdated. Um, a lot of people are moving away from it. Um, a lot of people are tired of, you know, being on Facebook all day, the same old, same old. Um, they want something new. Most people are on TikTok nowadays. Most people are looking for, you know, an opportunity on TikTok. Um, if you want to learn how to, you know, dominate on this new platform, check out this video, right? And then you can link people to your affiliate offer. That's just an example. Ideas, okay, you can just simply give people ideas. You know, if you are promoting something that teaches people how to be better at golfing, you can share some ideas, you know, hey, um, if you use this type of putter, you can increase your range, you know, blah, 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 give them a little bit of value, a little, a little bit of um, ideas, maybe they didn't think of before. And then you can link them to your offer. Inspirational. Okay, this is one of the best ones, depending on the niche, but inspiring people is really powerful for a few reasons. So to write something inspirational, you know, you can say, hey, they're my friend. Um, I used to be like you, I was, 
opening emails. I was, you know, constantly looking for a way to lose weight. I was looking for a way to build muscle, make more money, whatever your offer is um, solving. And I really struggled for a very long time. But what I discovered was that if I just invested in myself, if I just focused on a specific method, if I just got a mentor, right, whatever your product is, then that would solve my problem. And now today I'm happier, I'm better, people like me more, I have more energy, my life is completely different. And I want to share with you that you can do this too, right? You can succeed too. It's not too late for you. If I can do it, you can do it, right? So you want to inspire them that what they want to achieve is possible. And the other reason this is really powerful is because when they get in that inspired state and you point them to your affiliate offer, now that mo motivation is going to be towards buying. Okay, so we motivate the people to feel good. And then we can also take that motivation and link it to them buying, which is absolutely incredible. Um, FAQs, you can just cover frequently asked questions. If the offer that you're promoting um, through affiliate marketing has a lot of frequently asked questions like how to join, how much does it cost? What's the monthly fee, you know, et cetera. You can just simply write an FAQ in the email answering people's questions. Q&A, let's say you get people replying to your email sometimes and they ask you questions. You can just make that into your email. Hey there, my friend. I got a recent question from a subscriber asking me, you know, what's the best way to make money in 2021? I truly believe it's, Facebook marketing, Twitter marketing, whatever the offer you're promoting is, um, because blah, blah, blah. If you want to discover my number one way to do that, click this link. And again, you would link to the affiliate offer. And then how to's you can actually or checklist, okay, checklist, and how to's are similar. You can basically just say, hey, um, you know, here's five tips to make money with Facebook. Step one, create a profile. Step two, post daily. You know, you can actually just give them a checklist or a how-to, and that will get them um, reading your email, getting value. And then again, towards the end, you want to link them to your product. And how do you link them, right? You may be wondering, once you understand the subject lines, once you understand the type of email, how do you link them to the offer? Well, it's very simple. So you can say, hey, they're my friend, you know, blah, 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 right? Let's say this is the actual part of the email. You can say... If you're interested in my number one way to market a business on Facebook in 2021, for example, that's the offer, click and watch this video now. Best Garrett. Okay, so that would be towards the end of the video, uh, the end of the email. And then to, to link them to an offer, you just highlight, okay, the part that you want. And then on Get Response, very similar to other ones. You click this little paper clip and you put the URL, okay? So I'll do google.com, for example, bam, okay? And that's it. And then you just hit next step, okay, towards the bottom right if you're using Git response. I can choose what list I want to broadcast. You know, next step, okay? And then I would just, you know, schedule or I could send it, right? Or I could do perfect timing. Um, which sends it to when that person has been opening emails in the past, which is really powerful. And that's it, my friend. I don't want to make this more difficult than it is. I hope you got value. To recap, all you have to do is use an email autoresponder, link it to a capture page, and then use those subject lines, use those types of emails in the body, and link them to an affiliate offer. If you got value in this video, you want me to make more, click the like button and comment below, what do you wanna learn next when it comes to making money online? And last but not least, my friend, before you get going, I wanna share with you a free video revealing my number one best affiliate program, a program that pays you instant and reoccurring commissions up to $2,000. It's been working absolutely incredible for me and everyone that I've been sharing it with. So if you want access to that, go down below, click the link, and then put your best email on my website so I can share you the overview. And I think it's gonna blow you away by how powerful, and you can actually use email marketing to promote that and start to make autopilot commissions. Anyway, my friend, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video.